If you'd like to know a very simple strategy that a private pay functional medicine practice used to completely revolutionize their marketing, more than double their client base, and these were with clients that are spending multiple five figures in many cases to work with them, then listen up because I'm going to share exactly how you can implement this in your own practice to increase your profits and to serve more patients. Hi, my name is Jared Carter. I am a physical therapist, a cash-based practice owner, and the founder and creator of the Private Pay Profit Formula. I help colleagues just like you to create your own concierge, out-of-network, or private pay practice so you can end reliance on greedy health insurance companies, provide a level of care that you are ultimately proud of, and regain control of your profits and your future. If you're new here, you should definitely consider subscribing because I put out episodes like this all the time and they always have an associated free resource designed to help you to implement and get things done and get results faster. I'm going to tell you about the free resource for this episode in just a moment, but first I want to tell you a story. So one of my staff members previously worked for the functional medicine a healthcare practice that I had told you about in the very beginning of this video. And what was happening is that that functional med practice was focusing primarily on longevity and on providing services surrounding people who just wanted to live a longer, healthier life, but weren't necessarily dealing with a lot of symptoms or diagnoses at that time. And they really, really had to spend a ton of money to acquire each customer because their practice, their, sorry, their services were quite expensive. And not only were they spending a lot of money to acquire those customers, they were really hard to convert those leads into paying customers. And so what they started to do, and this is what I'm going to teach you about today, and this simple strategy was to simply survey their best clients and figure out what it was about their practice that attracted the client in the first place, what it was about them th that made the decision to, to go ahead and invest a significant amount of money in those services, and the things that they found they find and have found most valuable about that practice and that, their, their experience at that practice. And what they found was that their best clients weren't people who were fairly healthy and just looking to optimize, you know, and uh, their their health and and live a longer, healthier life, but people that actually had a lot of issues and diagnoses. They had been to multiple different providers trying to find solutions, and then they found, you know, this functional medicine approach in that process. Their marketing was targeting a lot of people that ultimately did not become clients. And it wasn't doing anything to target the people that had multiple diagnoses or really, really tough to solve issues that had gone through the ringer and been to multiple providers and, and come up without really good solutions. That's who they started to target after the fact. After they did this survey and they realized a few things. First, they realized who to target. When you do this survey, you're going to first recognize what are the, the pain points and the characteristics of the people that really are my best clients? And secondly, is going to be how to target that respective client, not just where their eyeballs are, but the things that you want to talk about when you get in front of them in various forms, whether it's content marketing, video, or Facebook ads, or whatever the case may be, you know, blogs on your website, the presentations that you give, and you know, or workshops that you put on, all of these things, you got to know what to talk about, what's going to appeal to your target market, so how to target them. And then third is how to convert that target market and those leads into paying customers. So for you to implement the same thing in your practice, it's quite simple and this is gonna be how it works. You're gonna send out a survey to your past clients and then you're gonna implement a system where your current clients get this survey on an automated basis. It might even be something that they fill out one or two of the questions as part of your intake paperwork so that it's a required field kind of thing. And then after the fact, after they've had a bit of experience with your practice, you can get the other questions answered. But essentially it's you're gonna survey your current and past clients. And the free giveaway for this episode is gonna be the actual questions, the actual survey 
survey that you're going to send out. And this is really important. If you make up your own or you don't go download that, uh, what I will say about it is it cannot be a lot of questions, five or less if possible. And I have some curated questions that I put into a free download for you at drjaredcarter.com forward slash episode 23. These are based on psychological principles to bring out the, que- the answers that you need and in the voice of the patient so that you can then use that in your marketing, in your content creation, and in those sales conversations. And that leads us to the second part. So first is you do the survey, you know, use my free download to curate those questions and create those questions, get the answers to those questions. And that is going to tell you, hey, are we actually targeting in our Facebook ads, in all of our different forms of marketing, our content creation, whatever, presentations, workshops, are we actually getting in front of the right people? Right? It's going to tell you that, number one. So first you check that box. And if not, like with that functional medicine practice, you might have to really change up your approach to marketing or at least the direction that you're going with your marketing and who you're getting in front of. And then number two is you're going to start to create content and pieces of marketing material that uses those patients' words from the answers in your survey and just basically feeds it back to them, feeds it back to their, you know, to them with their concerns, their pain points, the things that they're looking for, the things that they've been through, you know, whatever the case may be, you get, you take those answers to the survey and you feed it right back to them. You use them as overall topics for videos, blog posts, workshops, getting in front of, you know, online groups, whatever the case may be. There's so many different ways that you can use this, this content and this information from the survey. And then finally, when those, when those eyeballs become phone calls or emails or inquiries of some sort, they become leads, then you're going to, again, use those survey responses, use their own words when you're in those sales conversations with them. You know, Mrs. Jones, a lot of people who end up on the phone with us, they experience things like X, Y, Z, right? They have been to multiple providers to try to find answers and they've come up short and this issue has continued to limit them in their life. And I can tell you that that is why you're on the phone with us. You, like so many of our customers and our, excuse so many of our patients have experienced exactly that. And so I can tell you with, with high levels of confidence that our services and our approach to healthcare have been the solution that many out there are looking for, yourself included. You know, so whatever those survey responses are, you're using those as examples and kind of social proof, and you're feeding them right back to them in those sales conversations. So you get the survey questions from drjaredcarter.com forward slash episode 23. You create and send out your survey, make it automated when possible to get those answers and to get everyone to fill it out. Then you're going to use those survey responses to make sure you know who to target, how to target, and how to convert. So if you appreciated this content and you know of anyone else who might be interested in it or in getting the survey questions, leave a comment below, tag them and share this video with them. And if you have any questions or comments on this episode, please also leave those below. I love your questions. I love to interact with my audience. So please drop those below. Again, you can get that resource at drjaredcarter.com forward slash episode 23, and I'll see you in the next episode.